I feel a storm is coming. Hello everybody, Destiny Ninja here, and this is a different kind of video. Um, I wanted to talk about making your own opinion on games. And there is a big reason for this. And it's because um, lately I've seen a lot of people using other people's um, views to fuel their own opinion, so to say on games or just anything in general and this is really starting to irritate me and I'll give you one example um, the YouTube channel I think it's Angry Joe show or whatever Angry Game Reviewing uh, where they angrily review games and it's been done on you know they cover pretty much every major game and you know some games, you know, they are right about, like this first Destiny. You know, there wasn't a whole lot to it and all that, but you know, overall, it was still an enjoyable experience. Um, Metal Gear Survive is uh, another recent one that I can think of, and you know, a lot of people didn't like it, but they hadn't actually played it. And those that have played it, I have noticed, are a consistent player base on Metal Gear Survive when you go into co-op. Now, I could probably jump back into Metal Gear Survive co-op and find some people that really, you know, enjoy the game for what it is, you know. They are friendly, or if they're, even if they're not friendly on mic, you know, they're still trying to be a team player, whether you're trying to compete against someone else, but the overall objective is to still, you know, help out with the team to win to protect this objective. And the latest controversy is Battlefield 5. And I'm really starting to get irritated with the fact that people aren't even trying out the beta for themselves, even though they've had access to it since the 6th. And, you know... It's like, ooh, you know, you, you type these stuff into the chat log or whatever, Enough. and, you know, it gets censored, and EA's trying to, you know, um, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for, um, influence their product towards them, uh, I'm not really, I can't really think of the word right now, um, you know towards the SJWs and feminazis or whatever and because you know people who made a big deal about you know there being a woman with a prosthetic arm in um, Battlefield 5 when the trailer had first come out and you know I'm not understand why people people are making a bigger deal out of this than it has to be you know it, it doesn't matter you know it, they were just trying to show off the player customization because this is one thing DICE hasn't really done besides camos on your character in Battlefield 4. Battlefield 1, there was no customization whatsoever. Battlefield 3, as far as I knew, um, there's no customization. Battlefield 2, if any of you remember that, there was no customization. So, you know, this is kind of a stepping forward to them, and they want to now bring popularity to this, or just make it infamous. And, you know, with games like Battlefield 5, you know, yes, you know, as people want to say that there weren't women in World War II, wrong, there were. The, as far as I, to my knowledge, the French, the Russians, and I believe there was another um, power that used women. But, ooh, they weren't on the front lines. Maybe not, but they were still in the military, and should they not get representation? I don't care either way. I'm just saying, you pe people are making a bigger deal out of this. You know, I was like, ooh, it's gonna lose my immersion. You know, well, maybe, you know, you can, uh... 90% of the people, as far as I know, are going to make characters 
to where they want them, which is probably going to be, you know, pure white dudes and all that, and yeah, that's cool. I do that, you know, I try to make my characters look like me as much as I can. But, you know, like with my GTA character, he's Asian. You don't see me complaining about, ooh, I'm constantly, you know, all my characters look Asian. Metal Gear Survive. My character, you know, he kind of looks like um, Venom Snake or Big Boss. Um, whichever one you want to go with. And I also have the exact same character model for Metal Gear Online. But people are taking this way out of context and everything. You know, it's just... Why are you judging the game for one tiny aspect when... You know, there's still the rest of the entirety of the game. You know, this is just a beta. Ooh, wow, I'm playing as a woman. Who cares? Focus on the game. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be about, like... Give me, um, a good example. Um, the Sword Art Online games, you know, Ophelia's as an example, um, they're not as popular as, you know, so many of you probably don't even know they exist, but they are Sword Art Online games, and, yeah, there are, there is Hollow Realization, um, Lost Song, I don't remember what the Gun Gale online version of the Sword Art Online game was. Then, um, I believe there's one more. Hollow Realization, Hollow. Uh, it was on the PSP, unless that was Realization. Um, then you have the phone apps of them, you have, you know. Um, Sword Art Online Integral Factor, and Sword Art Online, um, um, Memory Defrag. And, you know, they all are great in their own aspects. Some of them I didn't like just because, you know, they didn't work well, or they were based up to, um, pure luck to get certain characters to help you progress to the story, which is just, you know, DLC basically, but you don't need it with, um, which is why I like Sword Art Online Integral Factor on the phone. Um, this is kind of just me ranting, and I'm, I'm gonna post that in the title of the video. Um, but, um, people who use Back on Track, um, actually, no, no, not Back on Track. You're gonna see four different games. One is this one called um, Ninja Senki DX, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly. I've never heard anyone pronounce it or anything. So I'm gonna go with Ninja Senki DX. Um, the first game you saw was um, Dead or Life 5 last round. It was It's free on the PlayStation Store and the Xbox um, Store, or Microsoft Store, whatever you wanna call it. Third game is um, uh, Strike Force GX or something like that, and it's a really cool game. I personally enjoy it. You know, a lot of people didn't, because as far as I know, there's not a whole lot of people playing it, and even though it was free for a month. Then the final game is Overwatch, and I know there's a, in my opinion, Overwatch is like Undertale. The fan base is more cancerous than the game. Um, and that's something I'll touch on in a little bit. Back on track, you know, whether you like... If you haven't played the game, don't make your opinion and don't base your opinion off of someone else's. Because that's what I'm saying a lot of YouTube channels, um, you know, who are bashing the games and all this, are using one channel's from opinion on it. 
and you know, I've had good experiences and bad experiences with the Battlefield 5 beta, with the last live stream I've done of the beta ending the end resulting, or the end result of that in having to get a new mic and controller. Um, that's why it just kind of ended abruptly. Um, you know, it, this is kind of like a uh, Dark Souls uh, controversy where you know, it's not meant for you know just casually playing. Although you can just casually play Dark Souls, believe it or not. And you know, I, me, or my friends and I, we ha all have Dark Souls three, and two of my friend, me and my my friend and I have the first Dark Souls or Dark Souls Remastered, technically. And he has Dark Souls 2. I personally do not like Dark Souls 2, although I have not played it yet, so I cannot entirely formulate an opinion on that. And you know, with Black Ops 4, it's starting to look a little interesting with the Battle Royale, which they have um, just recently released the trailer. Go check that out. It looks kind of interesting. I might check it out sometime. But I'm definitely not going to pre-order a game that has no campaign and is focused around multiplayer and zombies. They pretty much tried doing that with Black Ops 3, and in my opinion, Black Ops 3 was a flop. Black Ops 4 is going to be probably the biggest flop Call of Duty has ever had. Um, Battlefield 5, um, I'm excited for it. I know a lot of people aren't, and they're making a big deal about how sales are down by like 80%, or pre-order sales are down by like 80% or something. That's just what I've heard. Um, and, you know, I, I don't believe it's down by like 80%. And, you know, people are saying, oh, it's just Battlefield 1 reskin and new weapons. You're saying something that's literally a lot of AAA games nowadays. And, you know, they're also using pretty much the exact same engine and reusing assets. So you still can't formulate a full opinion on just by what you have seen other people play and everything. You can use it to, you know, if you have seen gameplay, you might be able to judge it a little. But, you know, if you just hear someone go, oh, I, I didn't have a good time with the beta. Or, you know, it, it was broken. You, you can't really trust their opinion on that. You need to actually get hands-on with it. And more often than not, nowadays, games are doing open betas and uh, free weekends and all this. Um, like Overwatch has done um, plenty of times. Rainbow Six Siege has done plenty of times. And, you know, I enjoy Rainbow Six Siege, and maybe I, I don't play the online multiplayer, but I still do the terrorist hunt and all this to see the new characters and everything. And with, um, you know, Overwatch, as much as I hate to say it, there are aspects of the game that I do like, although over, ultimately, I do not enjoy the game, because it is just a, as one might call it, a, a meta addiction, is what I would call it. It's a, it has a meta addiction. <sighs> Excuse me. Where some characters are in meta, as they say, and in my opinion, that's just bad balancing. They don't know what they're doing, and Overwatch in total was a flop. And you know, it's like, ooh, you know, uh, Overwatch competitive. I'd rather watch CS competitive, or Counter Strike, as some people don't know the abbreviation. Um, you know, CS just is more enjoyable. It's not got a meta. It's just based on skill and how you play the map and your um, strategies. You know, and like Overwatch gameplay right here, you know, I enjoy playing against the AI, you know, and not people because people will literally pick the most overpowered tanks and, you know, just whatever's the most broken characters possible and what's in meta. At least you, know, you have the tour meta or whatever the fuck it is, and it's just stupid stuff like that. The games should not have a meta. That just means that they don't know how to properly balance. You know, with Metal Gear Solid 5 with Phantom Pain online, 
there's not a meta. It's everyone running around cloaking themselves. You just have to have a good eye, and people think because they have cloaked themselves, they can't be seen. No, you have a good eye. You can see them and kill them. It's no problem. I've placed top of my team countless times because people think they're sneaky and run around the side and uh, camouflaged when, you know, it's not that hard to tell that they're there. And I honestly think there should be more of a um, Metal Gear Online um, Pro Series. There should be an Overwatch Pro Series. And, you know, the only reason why I think there is an Overwatch um, ESL um, is because Blizzard made it. The only other successful thing that I've heard Blizzard ever make is um, a World of Warcraft. Other than that, what have been really successful that you've heard about in recent times? Yeah, you, know, you don't see um, you know, um, RuneScape everywhere when you know, they dress something new. Because, you know, they get to shine by WoW. But, you know, have you played RuneScape? And have you played WoW? I haven't played WoW personally, I've wanted to. Just never had the opportunity. I don't really have a PC that's able to run it, and I don't want to play a monthly subscription. RuneScape, you can do everything completely free, as far as I know. You can get extra stuff if you pay for a membership. And, you know, um, RuneScape, and uh, I don't know about WoW, but I know RuneScape doesn't do a loot box system like plenty of games are doing nowadays. Um, examples as in Call of Duty World War II. Remember them when that was popular for about a whole week? Um, Black Ops 3, loot boxes. Um, Advanced Warfare, loot boxes. Um, what else has loot boxes? Uh, obviously Overwatch has loot boxes. Um, It's the constant cash grab and everything that, you know, people are just starting to accept. And people need to not do that, you know. If people think, you know, game companies are just going to do whatever they want, whenever they want. And that's not how it's going to, or it's not how it should go, but that's how it is going. Because if we just lie down and let, you know, companies do this stuff, you know, what's the point in playing these games if you know it's going to be the same game constantly. Uh, an example, Call of Duty. They've changed nothing. They, they have learned nothing and changed nothing from 3 to 4 and from what I've seen. I have not personally played, but you know, hardcore Call of Duty fans. You know, it, it's practically the same game every year. I've played Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 3. Um, what other Call of Duty's have I played? Uh, Infinite Warfare, um, Advanced Warfare. Yeah, I feel like I've got a pretty decent, um, you know, experience under my belt to judge these games because I've played so many previous ones. But I still haven't played this beta for the Black Ops 4. But the Black Ops 4. Um, blackout beta. That seems interesting. They should really do open beta with that. Just to see how, you know, the community reacts to more than just, you know, pay to have access. But, you know, the Battlefield 5 beta, you had, if you paid, you got early access. Emphasis on early. If you didn't pay, you could still play from September 6th to September 11th. You know, just don't... I, I pretty much rented this entire video, and, you know, a lot of you probably aren't gonna like that. Fine, I don't blame you. Um, but, you know, biggest point was, don't trust these bigger YouTube channels or anything for their opinion, unless they actually have the opinion, they're like, their opinion has facts and statistics to back it up. Like, you know, let's say Jack Frags. He had, I would, I would respect his opinion, but still take it with, you know, a grain of salt. 
because what he experiences on PC is not what you're going to experience on console. You know, he, um, I know like level cap is having, you know, he thinks there's issues with the new system in Battlefield 5 with the attrition where you don't have as much ammo and you don't, um, you, know, you have to mainly pick up health. I don't have a problem with that here on console. I personally think it's just the way he plays. It doesn't suit him entirely and, you know, he might have to adapt to it because, you know, with the Battlefield community, there's a lot of controversy and people can't make up their minds. And you also have to think, game developers also have to, you know, they can't just keep constantly switching back and forth, you know, oh man, I wish I had this system where it's aura healing and aura resupply. Where, and by aura, I mean like in Battlefield 4, you know, you just throw it on a resupply crate and you would passively get grenades and ammo and all this. But you would have to wait like 10 minutes to get even a grenade. Where, as in, you know, Battlefield 5 beta, you can walk up to the supply stations which you can build, which I wasn't aware of at first, um, on objectives, okay. which is great to know, by the way. And, you know, you can, um, you can grab health from these stations and you also get a bandage to hit, kill yourself well, you, if you're on your own or something. When you grab ammo, you get a grenade and you get, I'd say... I don't know, maybe a mag and a half, or maybe it puts you up to full. I don't know. I, I, I constantly reload, and that's the problem I need to fix. It's not about, you know, wanting, you know, oh, this is how I want this game, otherwise it's not going to be a good game. You know, just, you have to learn these things with the game. And quit complaining. You know, yes, things need fixed, like glitches and all this, or weapon damage in the TTK, kind of kill. Or like with Smash Bros, you know, some players, like some characters, are going to be in S tier, or um, if I remember, if from memory, on the um, Smash Bros Ultimate um, tier list that we have seen so far. Um, there was an S plus tier, an S tier, an A tier, B tier, C and D. And you know, there's like obviously slower characters are gonna be at the bottom, faster characters are gonna be at the top. And also how they damage and everything. But well, I'm running out of time. Oh, I'm tired. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt and depending on, you know, who it is, make sure they back it up. I'll see you all later.